<laughs> I'm Chris Edwards and welcome to this week's Tennis Warehouse vlog. This week we have playtester picks for you. So I'm going to go first and then we'll bring in some of the other playtesters. First up for my pick this week, I have the Head Radical MP. I'm a big fan of this racket. Now I usually play the Speed Pro and that has an 18 20 string pattern, but when I want to test strings in a more open pattern, so I want to get a feel for them in my regular racket and then go to something that has a 16, 19 string pattern in, the Radical MP is usually my racket of choice. It's got a super controlled 16, 19 string pattern. So um, even though I'm going to a more open pattern, I feel like this is one of the more controlled 16, 19 string patterns out there. This racket, unstrung, comes in right around 300 grams. And so it's super whippy, easy to get around. It's got just enough stability to get the job done when I'm at net looking to put away a volley or add a little finesse um, on my shots. There's plenty of stability still in this racket there. And I just love its all-court versatility. If you like to be creative and really move the ball around the court, attack from different positions on the court, I think the Radical MP is a great way to go. And they're currently at a reduced price. So good time to get a great deal on a great playing racket. And then last for my picks this week. I've got the Dunlop Grand Prix tennis ball. It's been around forever. It's a great playing ball. It's got some nice weight to it. Lasts really well. So if you're uh, putting them in your basket after you've had played a match or had a practice, the bounce will last a long time and the felt holds up really well on the Grand Prix. And about a year ago, we found a kind of a drop off in performance of some of the Grand Prix balls. And you'll see that in the uh, customer feedback on our website, but they're back. They're playing great. And uh, we're a big fan of them here at T-Dub. Okay, next up, we're bringing Tiff. First up, we have the racket I switched to early, earlier this year. It's the Prince ATS TechStream Tour 100P. I'd been using the uh, 2015 version of this racket for a number of years, and I've officially made the switch to the new version. I'm really just r loving the feel of this racket. It's very similar to the 2015 version. Uh, great feel, love the precision of this racket, as well as the power. It is uh, pretty powerful for an 18 by 20, as well as spin friendly. And next up is the Adidas Avacourt. Um, I'm just wearing out now the version I tested, so I was looking for a new color, and I don't know if you can tell because I matched my jacket. This one really caught my eye. I love the color of it, also the monochromatic look of this particular color. But overall, I find this to be very comfortable. It's been holding up for me well. Uh, also, recently I had an ankle inj injury, and I've been wearing a ankle brace, and this also has been very accommodating for that as well. Here today to talk about a couple of my favorite items in the system. Strings, you gotta have a good string in your racket. I'm a big fan of monofilaments. This one in particular really uh, fits well with just about any racket that I put it in, whether it's an 18 main or 16 main. That is the Lynx Tour. It does come in two different gauges and three different colors. I kind of feel like the orange is the softest. Uh, the champagne would be the firmest, maybe keep its tension the longest, and the gray would be kind of right in between those two. A great six-sided string, catches the fur of the ball very nicely, gives me a great launch angle. Again, reasonably good tension maintenance for a monofilament. I just can't think of any other string to really play with at this point. This is among my favorites in the system by far. Next up is one of my favorite shoes that I've been wearing. I've gone through about three pair of these. That's the Ultrashot 3. Overall, the shoe basically checks just about every box that I need. The width is there for me. It's a medium width shoe. It's got a nice shallow toe box. Flip this thing upside down. The tread pattern is modified, so it's going to work really well on a soft court as well as a hard court. I had no traction issues. High degree of comfort. I know it's a fine line between support and comfort. This one rides the line perfectly. Also includes a sole warranty on the shoe. So again, between the string and the shoe, these are two of my favorite items in the system. Happy to be here today talking about them. Halloween is coming up and some of us want to dress up as our favorite tennis players so I thought an easy way to dress up as my favorite is grabbing the Uniqlo RF hat. I love these hats. I definitely wear it at least once a week but a fun costume for sure would be dressing up as your favorite tennis player. So on Halloween you can expect to see, see me dress up as a Swiss great tennis player. Um, my second pick is going to be my current racket of choice, which is the Wilson Pro Staff RF97. We just wrapped up play testing a bunch of rackets for 2022, and I always have the opportunity to go back to my racket of choice, and it reminds me every single year that I love the stability, the plow through, and the heft of this racket. It's definitely not for everyone, but if you like to swing something heavy, the RF97 is just that. Plus, right now, there's an amazing deal on a bunch of Wilson rackets, and this one is included. So if, that, if heavy rackets and lots of plow through is your thing and you love Roger as much as I do, go check it out. 
for my playtester picks, um, I kind of got a classic vibe going on today. Um, for the racket, we just uh, finished reviewing the Vocal C10 Pro, been around for many years. This is the 2022 cosmetic update, but uh, as soon as I started hitting with this racket, hadn't played with it in a while previously, um, but it just felt amazing. Um, things I love about this racket are the weight of it. It's solid, it's stable, it's got the plow through, and then with the Vocal uh, dampening system in the handle, it's just uh, superbly comfortable no matter how hard anybody was hitting the ball at me um, you just really don't feel any stress on your arms so just silky smooth just a just a very good pleasurable feel to hit with out on the court so I love this racket right now and then my uh, other pick is uh, another classic look here not an old shoe but just a nice classic K-Swiss style with the uh, Hypercord Express 2 here in the white and black I just like the uh, the nice clean look to the shoe just tried it on again the other day hadn't worn it in a while and uh, just fits really comfortable got a generous kind of width to it and it's just really plush really comfortable out in the court you know i play a lot of doubles nowadays lots of dingles and even transition a little bit onto the pickleball court and uh, this shoe just works well for all of that so very very comfortable and uh, that pretty much wraps up our playtester picks for today be sure to tune in next week for more uh, playtester picks from us